In this video, we're going to be looking at the dashboard within the Dewpoint app. The dashboard is your tool for monitoring and managing the growth of your channel. We'll look at every detail within the dashboard so that by the end of this video, you know exactly what's going on. The dashboard is divided into three sections. It is also divided across three months. Your current month, the prior month, and two months ago. Your current month dashboard will always reflect the data that is available to it at any given time during the current month. At the beginning of every month, your dashboard will reflect zeros. This is because your dashboard is waiting for you to become a qualified wealth engineer. Go watch the training video on how to become qualified. Because once you're qualified, your first point is opened and you start earning on that point. At that point, your dashboard can start reflecting numbers. As your first pointers become qualified, more and more points in your channel will open and more data will be reflected on your dashboard. However, the information from the prior month is not lost. All you need to do to see your information in the current month is to push the down arrow next to qualified channel. This will then reflect all the information of all the points in your channel. You'll be able to see three columns of information. Those three columns of information are firstly the point, secondly the number of products in total in that point and how much you can earn from each of those points. At the beginning of the month again it'll be zero because nobody, in other words none of these products have been paid yet. As they're paid, these numbers will start rising and you'll be able to see how much you can earn on each point. In addition, you will see that some points are in blue and some are in red. The blue points are points that are open because you have the corresponding number of qualified wealth engineers on your first point. The red points are those points you have not yet opened Therefore, you need more qualified wealth engineers to open them and they will reflect what income you are not earning. Until such time as you put this, the equivalent number of qualified wealth engineers in, you won't earn that income. But once you do, you'll start earning it. This makes for good goal planning and targeting. If you wish to earn on five more points, put five more qualified wealth engineers in on your first point and those red points will turn blue and you'll be earning the income on them. Your dashboard updates at midnight every night. So while you may have added people during the day, they may not yet reflect on your dashboard. Simply wait until midnight the next morning you should see updated figures every day. As you enter a new month, you may want to see how you finished the prior month. Simply swipe to the left and your prior month data will come up. You will see here that this is populated data because the month is complete. But as you've seen from our debit order training, until at least five working days after the month end, your prior month figures will change as we receive more and more information from the banks. So make sure you check it on a regular basis for at least the first five working days after the month end. If you want to see how many qualified wealth engineers you finished on in the prior month, simply push the down arrow next to the qualified channel section and you will see the blue points. Now, not like in the current month, you can see that there are RAND values on each point. You know how much you're earning and you also know how much you're not earning. How many more qualified wealth engineers you should target in the current month in order to earn on all those points. What is important to remember though is that this column represents the total number of products in that particular point, not the number paid. So you may find that if you calculate your return based on these numbers, it won't equal this number. Your returns here is accurately calculated off of the number of paid products. This column is simply showing you the total number of products in that point. So don't get confused. In order to view the details on any given point, simply push the down arrow next to qualified channel and select the point you wish to view. Once you have selected the point you wish to view, the dashboard will repopulate with just that point's information. As you can see it being the beginning of the month, we have 
85 pending debit orders. None are yet paid and none have yet failed because we're still going to raise these debit orders. Once they are raised, those 85 will split between paid and unpaid depending on their actual behavior for the month. If you want to see last month, swipe left again, select point one, let it populate the point and you will see out of the prior month's first point debits, you can see how many paid successfully, how many failed, how many we're still waiting feedback on. If they're pending still at the month end, it means we're still waiting for the banks. And ultimately, you can see what your BPQ is. That's your book or business performance quotient. And it's calculated of the total number of debit orders, how many successfully raised. Again, a good number for managing your channel, setting goals and targets for yourself. The second section down shows you how many applications on that particular selected point or if you select your entire qualified channel were added during the month, were lost during the month and reinstated during the month. You can see who these individuals were that were added by simply pushing the plus or the expand button. Once you've pushed that and you scroll down a little bit, a list will form. You can see who you've added. Remember your first point is who you've introduced to due point. If we scroll back up and select say the second point in your channel, you'll be able to see the behavior of your second point. How many debits were successful? How many we're still waiting on information for from the banks? And how many failed? If you wish to see the details of these debit orders on your first, second and third points only, you'll see a little arrow on the side. That arrow you can press and once you've pressed it, it gives you a list of the individuals that have either paid, are still pending or have failed. In your current month, once you've selected a point, you're able to push the little side arrow on the side. By pushing the side arrow on the side, you're given a list of who those individuals are. And if you wish to look at the profile of that individual, you simply press their name. Once their name comes up, you can see all of their profile details. Again, a useful tool in managing your channel. The picture at the top is the picture the individual was meant to take when they first loaded their app. Remember, you get a thousand XP for loading your profile picture. And we always say how useful and important it is because it allows you, the lead wealth engineer, to manage that individual. You now know what that person looks like. People on your second and third point may not be people you know in person, but if you meet them at one of Dewpoint's meetings or one of our online broadcasts, you now know who they are because they've taken their profile picture. Make sure you encourage and create the culture in your channel of new people taking their profile pictures, getting that thousand XP and allowing you to manage your channel even better. In their profile, similar to your profile, you'll be able to see who their first pointer is because this is on your first point, you're their first pointer. You'll be able to see how many first pointers they have and have added, whether they're a qualified wealth engineer, when their next debit order date is, the number of products they have, and you may remember that little squid-like icon in the top right-hand corner. If it's red, it means they're not qualified. If it's green, it means they are useful because if they aren't, you will want to work with that individual to get them qualified and to get them earning in the Dewpoint system and opening another point within your channel. You can also push the plus or expand button over here. And by doing so, you're given contact options for that individual. You can either WhatsApp them or you can call them directly. Very useful. That number at the top right hand corner is simply the point that they are on within your channel. In order to return to your dashboard, just push the back arrow in the top left hand corner. Within these expanded lists on each point, you'll also see next to each person's name, two numbers. The first number in round brackets is what rank they are. And the second number in square brackets is how many paid products they have in their qualified channel. This again, very important for managing your channel. By knowing how many products are paid for in an individual's qualified channel, you know how far they are to the next rank. It allows you to set targets for them and to set overall goals for your channel. On the right hand side of everybody's name, you will see three numbers in three different colors. These colors match those of paid, pending and unpaid.
What these numbers represent are the number of products on this person's first point. Super important, why? Because it demonstrates to you whether they are a qualified wealth engineer, meaning they've got at least three individuals who've paid their first product. You can see it in two ways. Firstly, by the blue number being greater than three, but also by that squid-like icon to the left, as in the moment they become qualified the, is the moment that that little icon will reflect to the left of the blue number. But in addition, you can also see how many products are failing to pay on their first point or are still pending. Again, good for managing the individuals, finding out how successfully they are connecting individuals to Dewpoint and whether they're sharing the vision accurately so that people are paying for their products. The last section of the dashboard usually shows what incentives we're running at any given time. Make sure you follow those numbers, that you've understood the criteria of the incentive and you manage the process so that you can achieve whatever reward we're making available to you. At the bottom of the dashboard, as in most pages on our app, you will see a host of little dots. Those dots indicate to you that there are other pages available. The first three are your three months of data and the fourth one is what we call your live feed. Your live feed shows you what's going on in your channel minute by minute. This is a real-time display of the activities within your channel and you can sort them by a number of filters by simply pushing the down arrow next to show all. You can search for new wealth engineers that are joining your channels. You can search for unpaid debit orders at any given point in time. You can select XP and see how much XP you have loaded this month into your XP account. On your live feed as well, you will see next to new individuals that have been added and unpaid individuals, three dots. Those three dots are there to be selected. Press the three dots and you'll be able to see the first pointer of that individual as well as the individual themselves. Simply push that person's name and up will come their profile. This then gives you all those details again and your ability to contact that individual. One more page is still available. Swipe across and you will find your top performers. Every month, once a month, after our consolidation around the 17th of each month, your dashboard will update with the performers from the prior month. The top section is your top five builders across your entire channel. This won't just measure your qualified channel, but your total channel. Next to each name, you'll find details of that individual and have the dial button to contact them directly. Great to get to know people further into your channel who are doing well. The bottom section will show you who's ranked up in your channel over the last month and you'll be able to contact them too by pushing the dial button over there.